everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for returning. But today we are going to do a different video than I typically do. So, if you're not familiar with my channel, I am an aspiring author with a disability. And one of the ways CP affects me is I cannot read or write for myself. So with the whole writing aspect of being an author, I get a lot, how do you write your books? And do you, do you use dictation? And the quick answer is no, I do not use dictation. And in this video, we are, or I am going to show you why. Because that is a common question I get a lot. Let's, with further, further ado, let's roll into the video. This is a, this is a topic that I have lots of experience with it. And I wanted to talk about why on a girl, on a me, <laughs> don't, doesn't use dictation. So that's what this section is going to be all about. Where do I begin? So, so I really don't know the proper grammar or how to spell in general. Um, like for the grammar aspect, the only ones I know for sure is capital at the beginning of a sentence and also commas and Commas in certain situations, and then periods um, at the end of a sentence. So basically, not much. And it's really hard because, for example, when I say comma, a lot, of, a lot of times my mom will say calm mom instead of a, a, placing a comma. So because I know if I, I just, sometimes my enunciation is not really clear. Some of the dictation software doesn't always necessarily pick up my um, speech real well because I do pronounce some words differently. It's pretty good for the most part, but certain words are more difficult for me to pronounce. So there's another aspect of it that I don't use. Typically, the two so the two apps I use are Google Docs without the voice dictation, um, and my my Apple Notes app because I have both my iPad and um, my iPhone. I'm an Apple girl. Apple dictation seems to get me a lot better. So hence, not, that is partially why I'm an Apple girl because, or an Apple person, because Siri and all of that gets me a lot better than, um, say, a Droid or a, even like my Alexa, even though I didn't, my Alexa has difficulty understanding me versus my Apple products. Also, I'm going to show you guys in real time or have me actually dictate in real time to, to the computer and all my devices. So that's in this video. This is a link. This is an example. This is an example of me trying to dictate to the computer because this is for wait who go back. This is well, that's a bad example. Oh, I didn't want to start. My, okay, I'm gonna have to start that all over again. 
I'm not This is bad example. Hold on. Restart. Cause I didn't even record my phone. I mean, I recorded my phone. It did pretty good. That one did pretty good. I'm not be on it. This is for my dictation video. I am trying to demonstrate what the computer comes out with and started in the wrong spot. That's good. Okay. That's all part of the demonstration. Oh. Think about it. There are no mistakes. You're just trying to show what your challenges are with this situation. That's a good idea. And I'm a perfectionist too, so that's a little... that, Yeah, that's a, that's a challenge. That's a part challenge too. Yeah, that does not help. That's a good... Good point? Yeah. Okay. I am a perfectionist. And yes, I did start my iPad. I forgot that to hit record on my dictation on my iPad. So yes, I am starting over. However, when you get to a document like my book, that is another piece of the struggle. And, um, like, where do I put, how do I put, how do I indicate to the computer where to put or start a new paragraph? The hardest part the hardest part about dictation is probably that I am a perfectionist and don't know and I want everything to be proper. Oh. oh. The hardest part about dictation is probably the fact that I am a perfectionist and yes, I did start my iPad. I forgot that to hit record on my dictation on my iPad. So yes, I am starting over. Hey guys, this is the final result of the Google Docs dictation because I realized at the end of recording the um, exam, the demonstration section of the video that it randomly stopped in the middle of it. So this is another prime example. 
to why I don't use dictation really. And you can stop and read it at any time. Well, I can easily um think of a different way to explain what I'm trying to say. And usually they do know how one and or hold on, pause on, read. If I can think of another way to explain it, they can usually come up with a different word or like the word that I was thinking of. So, and that, that pause was a perfect example of why also, um, I don't use the dictation a lot because I pause a lot to think of what I have to say and what I want to say and my perfectionism gets in the way of that. So, um, that's another part. For my books, we use Google Docs, but I have a human scribe, so it makes it a lot easier. And I can expand upon what I'm saying a lot faster. That just minimizes the struggle because I'm able to say what I need to say and then the fact that I can't type from my own stuff. Like, you guys should see me type. I literally have this spell T H E, like one letter at a time. And then I have to hit space. It's kind of sad. So by the time I um, write a whole sentence, I'm like, this this takes too long. So, um, yeah, so I have a scribe. So that is why we select to use um, a person versus a technology. Oh, so I did end up recording and I'm going to try to include it in this video. Um, me and my book scribe working together. So, um, maybe like we think of ideas for um, the title of the makeup brand first, so we can just like implement it into like, the outlining. And oh, stuff. and build around it too. Yeah, exactly. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, um, I think we should think of something that is like reflects her and like her. Yeah, just like her. And then also kind of like, that's like makeup-y, you know, like, um, I don't, I don't even know how to do that. Like, th there's some, there's one that like, I mean, maybe similar to like eyes wide open, but like, that's kind of like, um, you know, like eyes cause it's like makeup and then wide open just cause like it's being able to like see, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then also, I, like, um, unless, look, the only thing you see is the blog. The reason why I like also the, to have a human is the collaboration aspect of it, because it allows me to expand upon what I'm thinking, or if I'm not thinking about a word, they know. Um, they can try to help me, like, either jog my memory or try to pull it out of my own brain. Sometimes. So, um, that's why I like a human versus with technology, you don't get the, co the collaboration aspect of it. So, Yes. Okay, nothing compares to a human, and you guys have seen why in this video, because I still take a lot of pauses, and um, my, I will have like a person edit what I'm going to say before. If I don't have a screen with me at that moment, I will go to my mom or my um, Usually it's my mom, so I'm going to use her as an example. So 
So I will go, I will dictate it onto my app where I am, and then I'll be like, okay, read it to me, and then she'll be like, okay, this is what it says, what, what else did you say? And then she's able to also put, kind of be my editor at the same time as being my script because um, she will put the punctuation, the proper punk, the proper punctuation and and spell everything correctly. Um, so that's another thing. So that's a big, big aspect of my life that I had, um, I really had difficulty figuring out how to explain to you guys. But then I realized that I had my camera and um, I was like, I'll just do a video about it. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it was helpful. And I hope that you guys got to see me struggle. And I thought that was funny as well because the struggle is real sometimes. And this is what it's like to um, what dictation is for me and why I choose to use a human script versus a uh, person to be my script versus a uh, technology. And it's not to say that technology won't get better, I'm sure it will, but there are other things that um, I just can't replace at the moment. And yeah, so with that being said, that is the conclusion of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Also, if you have any video suggestions, please let me know. I will be happy to make them for you. And then, well, and remember to keep her on. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!